This demo video shows screen, content and playlist setup using setup wizards. The Do Publicity Digital Signage Manager includes 40 built-in templates that can be viewed before you decide your advertising strategy. These templates can be used for advertising up to 10 products or services and are available in 5 color combinations to suit personal and product choice. We can view a couple samples here. This is a 10 product sample in blue color or we can see a two product sample in green color or a one product sample in orange color the software also has the ability to turn the screen on or off and in the process it saves electricity costs and extends screen life this may be set up through the edit screen wizard the screen can be set up with a variable time slot for each day of the week for better management. For purpose of this demo, we will set the screen to suspend display. Clicking here opens the edit screen wizard. Click next. This displays the screen name, contact information. All of this or some of this could be edited depending on your requirement. In this screen, we disable Sunday and Saturday because we want the screen to run from Monday to Friday with the weekends off. This actually shows the time slots per day. You can have variable time slots for each day of the week depending on your preference. You could have a half a day working on Saturday and Sunday off and whatever is your work preference. As we can see here, it shows Saturday, Sunday with a red light which basically indicates that it's a non-working day. As we can see here, the blue lights indicate that those are the operating hours where in the case of Saturday, Sunday, we don't have any information here. That's how simple it is to set the working days of the week and manage working hours. Setting up content is easy under the Add New Content Wizard that is accessible under the Content Setup section. In this demo, we'll be creating three pieces of content which will be added to the library. The first of them will be a template based content. To do that, we click on the section that says click here to add new content. This opens the add content wizard. We click next. Let's give it a title. We'll call it glove shoes. Click on the next button. We stay on the template based content. Click next. We have options of doing either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 or 10 product templates. We'll stick with the one product. Go next. Let's say a green color template. Next. This is an image of what the template looks like. We'd be customizing the picture and text to make it our own. We upload a picture of the shoes we're looking for. Next. We give it some textual content. and some price. Click Next. Finish. That's how simple it is creating a template based content. Let's see what it looks like. Click on the View button and there we go. That was creating the template based content. Next we will add an image based ad. We, we open the wizard again. Next, we'll give it a title. Next, select custom content. For images, we could use either a GIF, JPEG, BMP or PNG format file. We click next. Select the file. That's it. That's been added too. Click on view to see the ad. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Close. And now we will add a video based content. Click here to add new content. Next, again we'll give it a title. We call it video ad. Next, custom. 
For video, it could be a flash SWF, WMV, AVI, MPG or MPEG formatted file. Select Next. And that's been added to the library too. To see what it looks like, let's take a look by clicking on the View button. And that's it. That's how simple creating content for digital signage is. Next, we proceed to adding content to the playlist and getting it ready to display. Adding content to the playlist is as simple as creating it. We click on the click here to add content to playlist button. That opens the add to playlist wizard. Click next. These are the three ads we created which need to be scheduled in the playlist. So let's take glove shoes for example. We click next. We can pick the start date, end date, the days of the week we'd like it to show. So in this case, let's set them for display on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We disable Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we need this ad to run all day. So we enable 24 hours. We click next. This is going to be playlist number one. The duration of the ad is going to be 30 seconds. We click next finish. So that's the first ad that's been added to the playlist. Similarly, we can go ahead and add the image and video ad to the playlist. We'll schedule this to run five days of the week other than the weekend. Set it for 24 hours. At playlist number two and that's added too. And now the video ad. We'll schedule this to run in the future running from this Saturday to the end of the month and we'll plan just for the weekends and only during the evening hours. We don't need this ad running all day so we disable that. We schedule it to run for 60 seconds at playlist number 3. That's how simple adding the content to the playlist is. You can even view these ads or delete them or edit them as you may desire. And this is as simple as clicking and using a wizard. Once you have the content and playlist set up, you're ready to start displaying your digital signage content. Clicking on the Run Display button will open a new window that will cover your entire screen and show your content. You don't have to set the screen resolution as the software will take care of that. You can view display history by clicking on the display logs button. Display history shows the date, time, content name and duration of display. This information is available for the last 30 days. Screen options can be used to set the startup page, turn remote services on or off, set the remote service update frequency, display closing instructions and enable text debugging for technical support. The feature to be most aware of is the ability to set the screen to go straight to display mode when the application starts. Setting run display as the initial startup screen will get the application to do so. Assuming you have activated remote service and set up through the screen options feature, you can click on the remote updates button to get the latest updates as set up through the Do Publicity website.
The remote service feature allows users to display using multiple split screen layouts, scrolling ticker bar for custom messages or RSS feeds, remote management of multiple screens for content, playlist and screen display reporting. The remote service updates take place at set periodic intervals without disrupting display or other settings. In case you wish the application itself starts automatically when the Windows PC starts up, you can set this by clicking on the File tab and the Startup Options button. You may download and test the free version which has no time limit and includes most of these features. Thanks for taking the time to watch this demo.